serve you up with some solutions to your problems in the Lonely Hearts Cafe. If I tell you that I love you, then I love you. I love you. If I tell you that I trust you, then I trust you. I trust you. But don't lie to me. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Don't lie to me. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. If I tell you that I love you, then I love you. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you. SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's Smooth tickets.com or give them a call at 404-374-1150 once again that's 404-374-1150 you gotta tell them though that i sent you you gotta tell them that doug stewart sent you once again smooth tickets.com that's smooth tickets.com yeah national debt relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, This means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844 828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. I'm the fucking man. Y'all get it, do ya? Type of money, everybody acting like they know ya. Go uptown, New York City, bitch. Some Spanish girls love me like a mom Twitter. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Throwback Thursday, 2010. Uh, you can give me a call at 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. This segment is brought to you by David Dajan Dejane. I want to make sure I get that correct. I need to make sure I get this correct. Davy And uh, a lot of you out there listening to the show are into a lot of holistic stuff, man. And and premium raw African black soap is uh it falls in that category. Real soap that works. The benefits of using their African black soap. It helps with acne and dark spots. It cleans and detoxes your skin from toxins and chemicals. Also helps with eczema and skin completion. For more information, check out Davey, that's D-A-V-E-E, D-A-J-A-N-E.com. Davey, D-A-V-E-E-D-A-J-A-N-E.com. 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 
E.com and tell them that the Doug Stewart Show sent you. I used to, uh, and I'm pretty sure every city got them. I used to uh, go downtown when I first moved to Atlanta. And it's crazy how, how things change, you know, over time. Um, when I first came to Atlanta, the thing to do was kind of like to hang out at the underground. And uh, they got this flea market in the underground. And it's not really, yeah, it technically is the underground. But it's a little ways down on the back part of the underground Atlanta. If you're from here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And down there, they had all these African shops, man. They used to sell the oils and incenses or whatever and the soaps. Um, and now, like, I don't think I've been down there in in probably over 10 years. Even, is it even still around? Like, if you're from Atlanta and you've been down there lately, if you're from Atlanta and you, you've you been down to Underground lately, let me know, is Underground even still there, first of all? Um, and I believe it is. And is the African little section, little flea market shops, is that still around down there as well? Because I promise you I haven't been down there 10 years. But I used to be down there like every weekend <laughs> when I was uh when I first moved to Atlanta like 94 95 uh, but things just change a little bit man they just change 404-382-0338 you can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart show dot com let me read some of these messages in the chat room thank you so much for being totally interactive yeah from Peter Quill, Peter Quill says underground still there. Okay. Um, from fail pay, ain't been underground in about 10 years. Exactly. That's the same thing I said. And it might even be longer than that. This is my 21st year in ATL. Um, now, nah, I'm going to say 10 years. I've probably been down there 10 years. They actually had a, uh, you know, if you're, if you're from Atlanta once again, <laughs> or if you've been around here for the last 20 years, uh, underground had... They had this uh, this nightclub in there. I can't remember what it's called right now. They also had uh, this this uh, what's the place called where they sell the frozen drinks? Uh, Fat Tuesday. They had a Fat Tuesday down there. It was kind of like the spot uh, at, for the for the people of my age at the time. We're talking 20 years ago, so like early 20s, the younger generation, which I have no idea what the younger generation does today in ATL. I guess they go and hang out at the compound or whatever. That's what my daughter went to a couple of weeks ago. But but back when I first moved to Atlanta, you know, Fat Tuesday downtown at, at the Underground was crazy like on Friday night. Um, that little club was real hip-hop. I mean, it, it was real cool, man, back then. But haven't been down there so long. They got this big-ass food court down there that used to be cool. It's a bunch of shops. It used to be real cool. There was some talk a couple of years ago about um, about bringing gambling to the state of Georgia. And, like, this casino company, I, I can't remember who it Maybe it was Donald Trump or somebody like that. Their idea was to buy Underground and, like, make it a big-ass casino. I love that idea, but it's the Bible Belt and, you know, people in the state of Georgia didn't, don't want to have nothing to do with casinos. I'm like, why? <laughs> casinos are great. But, yeah, there's been a staunch objection to to bringing gambling to the state of Georgia. I mean, you already do the damn, you know, lottery already. Stop it. I, I I don't, you know, and there's all these studies out there about, you know, crime coming to whatever city that brings casinos and gambling. Um, I just know people are grown, and they're going to gamble. They're going to play the numbers. They're going to they're gonna bet on sports. So, I mean, you know, what most people do, what most states do, is they go ahead and legalize it. They tax it. They get paid. You know, you bring a casino down here just like they make the argument for the lottery. You know, you take a lot of that money, that the, tax, the, the, the money that state and the city taxes them, and you put it back in education or whatever. People going to gamble no matter what. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous to me. I thought that was a great idea, but it died on the vine. Like, I hadn't heard any conversation about that lately. From Rail Scott, a thousand script clubs in Atlanta, but they don't want the gambling. Come on, son. Exactly. Exactly. You, you got all of this moral fiber about yourself, but you got 50 11 script clubs around here. Stop it. Just stop it. From the Kicking It With Kesey show, yes, they need to put a new plan in place for Underground. I mean, Underground was a spot. 
I mean, it was a spot to go because it was cool. It's actually underground, okay? It's, that's just not a name in itself. It's actually underground. Under, under uh, It's underground. It's kind of like at five points in that area, like the middle of downtown. It's real cool, man. From Sluggo, uh, you get your ass shot at underground. What? It's like that around there? Now, that was always kind of like a... Uh, Kind of like a hardcore presence around there, especially over by the uh, <laughs> by the uh, flea market side. But I never felt threatened. I, I will say this: I, uh, my car got broken into one time down there at the underground. What's that street? Okay, so you know how the, you know how MLK for this is for people from Atlanta. I'm sorry. Uh, you know how MLK is on the back side of underground where where the the black flea market is down there. Uh, my car was parked right there. I swear to you, I ran in the flea market for like. It couldn't have been no more than 10 minutes. I came back, window smashed out. I had left my gym bag on the back seat. I mean, acting just like a damn tourist. I knew better than that. <laughs> it was no more than 10 minutes. It was no more than 10 minutes. So that was a big thing. But, yeah, that was that was over 10 years ago. Um, so y'all telling me it got worse? From Loose Neck Side, they caught a seven-foot alligator two blocks from my house behind a school in Dallas. They are becoming a problem here in Texas also. Sees them all the time out here fishing. Yeah, I that tragic story about the child um, uh, getting eaten by an alligator. I saw a lot of y'all talking about that yesterday, man. Crazy, crazy story with these damn animals, man. Gorillas and alligators and whatnot. From Sluggo, he says, Grego, they said he was a known racist. And, of course, blacks were killed. However, he still could have made that statement. Not sure what he's talking about. From Thorny Switch, had no idea underground was still open. That's Peter. From Chuchi Hot Gates, what South the Call? Wait, South the Call Mall is closed. Tears up. South the Cab Mall. Wow, I didn't know South the Cab Mall was closed. Um, my favorite mall of all time is Greenbrier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the most amazing thing to me ever when I first moved to Atlanta. That there was an all-black mall. And not like a flea market, not like no strip mall thing. A all black mall, Greenbrier, with with major department stores and everything. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. You know, I love ATL, Shawty. I'm like, I'm staying. They got their own damn mall. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know South DeKalb Mall closed though, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. I like South DeKalb Mall too, uh, which is another. Uh, Black Mall here in ATL, or uh, was well, kind of like Decatur. South Cab Mall is in Decatur, but Decatur and Atlanta are pretty much the same thing. From Truck D, the Gator Shoe Market just skyrocketed. You're wrong for that, Chuck D. Um, from 9 the Wine, oh, great place to buy weed. See, there you go. There you go. There you go. Ninjas. There you go. <laughs> um... From Sluggo, there are alligator warning signs all over those resorts. I guess he's talking about the state of Texas. From Rel Scott, or from Vince Wright, I'm sorry. Why are there alligators and lagoons in the middle of the resort? For all that have been to the resort, that's from keeping the gators from doing their this more. How are the gators getting in there? From Stag Elite, BPA for the parents not watching Swamp People and not telling the kid... Shoot, Liz, shoot. Uh, I love Swamp Men. Is it Swamp People? I think it's Swamp People. I used to love that show. I haven't watched it a lot lately. When we get back from the break, man, it'll be hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show. I'll read more of your chat. And also, man, I'm sorry, but I got to talk about O.J. Simpson, Made in America, episode three. Carl Douglas. <laughs> Caught former attorney for for the O.J. Simpson team. I guess he's still an attorney. Carl Douglas, don't give up Mickey Ficky. I love this dude. This dude's my new hero. We'll talk about it when we get back. Hour number two, 2010 is what we're throwing it back to. This is the Doug Stewart Show.
Hey you, it's your girl Spicy, host of Spicy Conversations. Join me and my sexy guest as we discuss relationships, sex, and lots and lots of pleasure. A full two hours of erotic.